Hey everyone, Nitesh is side. Hope you are doing good. So let's start with the question. So the question is shift 2D grid. Okay. So you have given a 2D grid of size m cross n and integer k. You need to shift the grid k times. Okay. So in one shift operation, uh, if the element is at grid i j, you have to move to grid i j plus one. Basically, you have to move one column ahead. Uh, let's say if your element is at last column, basically grid i. Uh, sorry last row so n minus one okay they have representing in different manner so let's say this is in the last column then you have to do you have to increase your basically point row pointer by one and your column will be one so let's say if you are at this position so this three will come at this position okay similarly if your element is at the last position m minus one n minus one so if it has this position then it should move to this position okay this is for one operation but let you have to do it for the k operation okay so what you have given is you have given a grid array and there is a k pointer to it okay so let's see let's see this example so as you can see this is one two three four five six seven eight nine a 2d matrix but we have to do we have to move it by one k equal to one okay so as you can see one will move to this position two okay then two will move to this position then this three is at three can't we go ahead by increasing the matrix size so three will come by increasing the row row at pointer by one and column pointer to zero so three will come at this position so three at this position similarly four will move further then five similarly six will go at this position similarly seven similarly eight but for nine now it is at this position at the last so if we go ahead so we need to basically you can't go after this again this uh, there is no row after that so you will take it from the start you will come at here okay so let's see another example so this is c81 this is a matrix and you have to move it by k equal to 4 okay so if at if the element is at this position then this 3 after doing the 4 operation like you have to do it by 4 times so this will be 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 okay so i hope like you can see the 3 will come to at finally at this position similarly 8 come at this position so let's see how we can approach it like basically we don't need to go like to do every iteration we can just increase the pointer like we we can just add 3 at this position we can add k to it and it will take it to this position okay so let's write a code it will be uh, cleared to you by side by side so let's take row uh, grid dot length and let's take the column so here only I will explain how we will write it so now we need to check the constraint also so this is grid length and they are in the range of 50 and you can say this is a k so k also like k is not dependent on n and m so let's do one thing uh, let's say if k is greater than our row and column what we will do we will basically take it mode for this so basically row into column so that k range will should be lies in this range only inside our dimension okay now what we need uh, we need to return a list list integer basically we have to take a new array so we will take a new array and we will basically 2d array and we will just return that okay so let's take a new array so let's take answer and row column same size okay what we will do we will basically at every index we will insert it okay so let's take a loop over here row i plus plus for end j equal to zero j column j plus plus okay oh i didn't write the for loop so we have created a 2d loop now what we will do we will calculate the basically if this is the initial position we are directly creating this final array so for this what we will do we will calculate the new array position basically new row and basically new column okay so what we have to do like you have to shift uh, the k times basically you have to move the column 
not uh, you don't have to move your row row will only move uh, in this case only when you're you are at the end of this position or when you have like at the end of row and column okay so row will always be i and your new column will be j like the current plus k so you have to move it k times okay now after this what we will do we will just in answer new row new column we will just take grid of i comma j okay so basically what we are doing is we will calculate the new position of this element basically i and j so as you can see 9 is come at this position so when you do basically uh, new row of i and j plus k so in this case it will be like uh, let's 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 write the code then it will be clear to you so this is the first step like we calculate a new row and new column but we haven't add that condition when new column is at greater than our column length okay so we need to update that so if new column is greater than column then you need to do something so what you need to do you basically have to increase your row but how can you say like for the one step it will be clear like call row will move only one but uh, so what we will do new row basically uh, it will be equal to new like it will be like uh, new row plus equal to new column divide by column okay so what we have done is let's say at this position 0 1 2 let's say you add 1 to it so this become 3 your new column is 3 what you will do you will basically divide it by your column so you will get to know how many position you have to increase your row so let's say if it is uh, k equal to 4 okay so at this position 0 1 2 you will do 2 plus 4 which is 6 okay so now if it is 6 how can you say that like this will be your current position in that case so this will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the current position so if it is 6 so what we are doing is new column is 6 divide by column so column is 3 so that will give us the 2 and new row is at this position 0 so it will do 0 plus 2 it will come at this position okay now we need to add one more condition of new row also so if you say like uh, we are just doing for 3 plus basically we are done for 3 plus 4 7 let's say uh, it is you have to move it 8 times okay so k is 8 so 0 1 plus 0 1 2 plus 8 is 10 so if we do mode of this uh, so 8 so divide by 3 so 8 divided by 3 will give us only 2 oh, okay so let's let's take it like this if your new row basically crossing the matrix row, row length then you also have to do something so if new row greater than equal to row you will do just new row mode equal to basically you will do its uh, row it will be row only one second so if it like new row is greater than equal to row so we just lie in this range only so we do mode of this so this will come in the range only similarly we have done for this now we, we will after that we have updated row, row we have updated our row in the like if row is greater than rows after this if you are you just have to update your new column so this will be like this this will be a separate condition so we have created a answer array so after this you just return answer okay so the answer will be in the list format so array is dot list uh, let's pass the answer i think this will be like this so let's cast test okay let's let's run it okay so uh, there is a mistake so this will be l capital let's run it So as you can see this is accepted so i hope this will be clear to you what we have done is 
we have calculated a new row we have calculated a new column after this first step we update the new row if new row like we need to update it to go to the next row or k at times row and if new row is also greater or equal to row like it will be crossing the row with index then we again update the new row after that we just update a new column and just inserting into our answer array. let's submit it so that's, that's it uh, the time complexity is like we are inserting the every element in the like it's a order of row column row into column and similarly we have taken a space but you can say this is a space for giving the output so it's a order of one uh, hope you like it thank you for watching my video and do join the telegram group if you have any doubt and concern thank you